when did you get here? <laughs> that's, that's your vitamins. Say your prayers. <laughs> Drink your vitamins. It's. I mean, this is... Capri Sun is the only thing saving us from the coronavirus. You know that's, that? That's science. That's right. It's all science, so it's all true. Run out and get your Capri Sun. Wild cherry, though. If you get any other, pff, forget it, you're dead. That's it. Yeah. Lights out. Welcome, friends, to... Do you know what I'm going to say? I don't. Hmm. Welcome <laughs> to another mind-bendingly erotic oh, oh, why is it gotta be episode <laughs> like an acid trip of a crip from the 80s yeah. and today folks whew, today we're gonna start sweaty oh yeah we're gonna get Ooh. sweaty Ooh. uh you're gonna see flesh stretch oh you're gonna see flesh bulge oh no, oh man no you're gonna see, see shirts that. rip with ease mm, no one wants to see that for sure because guys what we're gonna talk about 1980s wrestling. Ooh, that's my sweet spot. What most people refer to as the golden age of wrestling. Yeah. Well, there's many, many ages. Is there? Yeah, probably not. For me, there's only <laughs> one. <laughs> and it was the 80s, and that was the golden age. It ended there. Of wrestling. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, truth be told, I am not a giant wrestling fan. Okay. Uh, you are far more plugged in to the wrestling scene yes. than, than, than I. Even um, when I'm unplugged, I'm still, I'm still in. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, um, let me tell you a little bit of my history okay. with 80s wrestling. Here, okay. here it is. So, I came to it as a piggyback show. It was a show that was on after a show I was already watching, okay. right? So, um, and I wasn't the... So I'm thinking sitcom -y show or no, no, no. cartoon? Or? It was a cartoon. Because okay. okay. I wasn't the Saturday night, what was that, superstar main event thing, whatever Saturday that night was? Saturday event, yeah. It would, it would preempt SNL. Okay, see, I wasn't that guy. Okay. I was the, oh, it's 12 o'clock, cartoons are over, What's wrestling's on, on yes, okay. you know? WWF superstars. Yes, okay. so so the cartoons would be over, and here come the wrestling, um, which were cartoons <laughs> in themselves. Exactly, <laughs> and this is why I liked it so much. Okay. Um, I was a wrestling fan in that I enjoyed the characters, mm -hmm. I enjoyed the over the topness of them, I enjoyed the skits, but as far as the wrestling was concerned, I just didn't care. Right. Because it was, for me, it was, when are you going to get back to the goofiness and after all this? Um, the wrestling was just like a, a second thought to me. Because I was honestly more intrigued with the silly story that was happening than anything else. I'm seeing a correlation to porn. <laughs> where you're like, I don't, I don't need yes. this. I don't need the sex part. I What's wanna... all this flesh? I want to know how this pizza goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is he going to get out of there alive? <laughs> and with money? <laughs> he needs to, you know, got to pay for your pizza, sir. Mm. Take that, coronavirus. Wait, why do you need that? So, <laughs> um, so that's where my love of wrestling Makes came sense. from. Yeah. And listen, we were in that golden age. We were in that spot where Look. wrestling blew <laughs> the hell yeah. up. It's on Sports Illustrated. You know, it's, yeah. 1983, yeah. 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. I mean, wrestling was everywhere. It was huge. Mm -hmm. The personalities were everywhere. There were cartoons. There were cereal. They were they were in commercials. They were in music videos. Right. Lunchboxes. Yes. Toys. WWF shirts. was everywhere. Yeah. Um, so when I think about the 80s, when I talk about the 80s, it is always sort of on my mind. Like, oh. WWF. It was such a huge part. The colors, the characters, the the craziness of it all. Yeah. That's what attracted me to it. Um, it actually wasn't the sportsmanship of the wrestling. <laughs> I don't think it was like that for so. many people either. <laughs> it was all the characters. Yeah, it was, it was the personalities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so where did your... Well, my dad had been watching it for you know decades prior, mm -hmm. and uh, I just gravitated to it. Um, but he preferred, because there was another uh, company called NWA, 
Um, and that had uh, that more focused on the wrestling portion than the characters. Oh, but yeah. then they kind of you know caught up to that. But uh, yeah, I've been watching it since God, probably longer than you, obviously. Oh, for sure. I but mean, since I was probably four. And yeah, mine was like yeah. 84, 85, yeah. Really, when it was. And I actually, I I I liked. WWF, but I was more of a NWA guy. <laughs> mm, all right, but I, I saw the merit of both, and I just I watched both. And uh, but uh, NWA was it was always TBS six oh five on Saturdays, and uh, but uh, straight out of Compton. And I was never. Uh, I mean, Hawk Hogan obviously was the face of WWF, and I was never was never a Hogan guy. <laughs> okay, I appreciated what he did, but I. And I wasn't like I was rooting for villains, uh, heels, if you yes, will, face heels. heels. It was just I, I just didn't buy into his shtick. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I only really truly rooted uh, rooted for him uh, when it was live, because then you were just caught up in the the atmosphere. And, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Now, did your um, was WrestleMania a thing for your dad for your family? Yes, like, was that uh, I actually. I mean, we didn't see. Uh, WrestleMania 1 and 2 live. We eventually just got tapes for that, but we went and saw WrestleMania 3 here at the Riverside Convention Center uh, on closed circuit TV. And that, that, that was one of the best... Exp that was probably the one t one and only time I really, really rooted for Hogan because it was Hogan versus Andre. And that whole thing was electric. We had, like, front row seats. Front row seats because it was just front row of a TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant TV. But um, I still have the program from that event. Um, and it was just amazing. Like I ran into a kid I went to uh, school with, and we just—it was amazing. <laughs> you were a part of wrestling history. Yes. You know, but yes, WrestleManias were things prior to that because then once they became pay per views, we just got them every year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't see any of the WrestleManias until VHS, you know. Right. Um, and that was because of friends, because I always had friends, as you do. Who are way more into wrestling than, than you. Are, than yeah. you. Yeah. Um, but I was always, I never like poo pooed it. I never shunned it. It was just uh, not something that. Which a lot of people did back then and still do to this day. It's, it's still kind of looked down upon, which is sad. I think it's uh, some of the best entertainment going. You know what I mean? Well, to, to still be around to this day and still be viable and. <clears throat> pertinent um, and to have many variations where you got like seven different companies where you have enough talent to fill these companies up yeah, they must be doing something right I didn't um, I definitely stopped like once the 90s hit I didn't even watch anymore yeah um, that was a the, the early 90s were a dark period uh, because they, they just didn't know what they were doing but then it caught up again when it entered that attitude era yeah see i was totally not even not even then i was t i mean i'm when i i mean 80s wrestling was my wrestling that's it that's it it stops in, okay. anything that i saw after that it didn't do anything for me um on occasion now why because the same setups were there where you had characters i, th I think characters and stories i and, think the more that they were bringing in new people and new wrestlers I don't know uh, this guy and the, and the right. old guard was not as prominent Still around. No. <laughs> they were there but they weren't as right. prominent it wasn't like it just didn't feel to me it didn't feel like those glory almost days almost too real uh, in a way I appreciate when I, I was like ooh let's Piper's Pit let's uh let's see what's going on now with the Piper's Pit you yeah. know cause Roddy was my man right Ro oh. Rowdy Roddy Piper yeah. Crom, Crom, bless you. Uh, he was my wrestler. Um, so I would... Heel Roddy or just all Roddy? I liked all Roddy okay. because to me it was just... He was just one big explosion of personality and talent. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. he, he knew exactly what the hell he was doing yeah. with the characters, with his attitude, with everything. He just was on Played point. Audience, yeah. And I loved it. Um, and so on occasion, if I set, you know, saw a preview or if I knew he was going to be doing his thing in the modern stuff, I would, uh, I would okay. pop in just to, yeah, cause he, just to see that because he was still Roddy, yeah. you know, he was still Roddy, 
it was just a little different. Uh, the setting was a little different. The times were a little different. Uh, it wasn't as wasn't as goofy to me. Right. Um, where it was just outlandishly goofy in the eighties. Um, no, the music videos. Oh <laughs> my gosh! But it was pure awesomeness to me. You know. Um, and it's it's because of that stuff that you know that's why I got those LJN figures. I had six oh. LJN figures. That's it. Six. Here's the thing. Sidebar, I had two. And I was a wrestling fan. Yeah, but, you, I mean, you said, you know, were they not making uh, no, they wrestling were. for the NWA stuff? Not or? really. Not much. It then. was just yeah. WWF? Uh, a a company then, called AWA had their own figures. Yeah. I didn't really start collecting wrestling toys until the, um, the Hasbros. Mm. Uh, and the uh, okay, so ninety, yeah, you know, ninety ninety one. Yeah, I'm not sure why I never. Uh, for me, it was back then um, when we've talked about this before. It was Star Wars toys. That's pretty much all I got. And if I got anything from any of the other brands, it was usually onesie twosies kind of thing. Like all I ever owned was uh, Down the Rock Morocco and Greg Valentine. Those were the only two wrestling LGNs I ever owned. It's. I think, and I don't even like those two. I don't even know. <laughs> what, I don't know if those were gifts. I don't know. Well, if, see, this is. I was gonna say that two of the ones I asked for. So I asked for Hulk Hogan, and I asked for Roddy Piper. Okay. Then I got gifts because oh, Chris has a couple oh, hey, of those you wrestlers. Want, you want more of those? Yeah. So okay. I got Junkyard Dog. Good one. I got Hacksaw Jim Duggins, which I actually ended up liking. Okay. His his shtick. Yeah. Um, a two by four. <laughs> yeah, who who else did I get? Billy uh, Jim. Uh, no. Oh, King Kong Bundy. Oh, I got King Kong yeah. Bundy. Again, I didn't I didn't care for him either. I just didn't care. Um, <laughs> he was in Moving with Richard Pryor. But, <laughs> and all of those because we were in a house uh, filled with animals. All of those LJNs were destroyed. Oh yeah, clearly destroyed. They were just <laughs> the paint and the yeah yeah. They were bit. To pieces, uh, it was Fire's a poking out it was a travesty, <laughs> travesty. Um, and to this day, I'm trying to hunt down. I was gonna say, are you trying to? I want, you know, the ones you had, or just just the ones I had. Right. And actually, at this point, I don't, you know, I don't want junkyard dog. I don't want because watching deal, wrestling, yeah. I became more attracted to people like Ultimate Warrior, um, Randy Savage. Right. You know, because of their personalities, because of the characters that they right. were, Vibrant. they were just so insane. Crazy, yeah. Um, so if I were to go now, other than Roddy and Hulk, I would want, you know, Randy Savage and Ultimate Warrior nice. and James Van Brunt, those guys. <laughs> but Fred Hammer. But my my number one <laughs> is Roddy. I want Roddy again, and I want him with the kilt. Right. And the big thing is, yeah, I could get Roddy, but I'm it's trying gonna, to get him with the kilt, right. and I'm trying to get him with as uh, as clean a paint job as that's, possible. That's not happening. And it's really rough. That's not happening at all. <laughs> and if you do want that, yeah. I gotta, you I pretty gotta much gotta get him carded. Shell out some some let gelt, breathe. Uh, which is you know, there's no way I'm ever gonna get him carded. No way. That's too much. No way. Yeah, it's yeah. way too much. I just I can't justify that. Especially for something that, though you love, it's not. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I would I would be at a toy show, and pick up a carded figure, and I'd be like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" <laughs> and then walk away. You know what I mean? There. Yeah. Take a photograph with it. <laughs> um, yeah. Photo op with the uh, yeah the Piper. But, you know, that Freddy bust, you're damn right I'm going to pay $300 for that <laughs> Freddy bust because that is amazing. But $300 for a little LJN rubber That's guy who I kind of had a, you know, thing for. Kind of had a thing for, right. Um, but, yeah, so so those wrestlers, those guys, yeah. um, Roddy, Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk... Um, you know, I liked um, Mean Gene. Oh, of course. Uh, because of the commentary, because right. of his his uh, charisma and chemistry with the other wrestlers. Yeah. The repartee that they had, <laughs> that was always fun. So Mean Gene was synonymous with all of it to me, you know. Um, 
so he was a, a favorite of mine. Mean Gene was a favorite of mine. Um, but do you have favorites within the WWF oh. uh, roster? Like, uh, well, I have two. I have a shrine to uh, uh, Randy Macho Man Savage okay. and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ah, Ricky the Dragon. At the top of my uh, my uh, IKEA case, there I have a nice collection of of both wrestlers and their. Did you meet Very. both? I know you met Ricky, right? I met Ricky. I'd never met Randy. Um, yeah, Ricky was amazing. Um, he was at a, a racetrack and casino type place. <laughs> and uh, I brought in my very first uh, uh, wrestling house show, which is what they would call, for layman's terms, that's what they would call the, the shows that would come to town. And I brought my first program that he was on the cover on, and he signed it. And then I got a photograph with him. Mm -hmm. And when I got my photograph with him, uh, he was wearing his uh, Hall of Fame ring. And he was like, you know what? It takes it off. You're going to wear this. <laughs> as a kid that grew up with this guy and wrestling as a whole, I was just like, oh. like, I was just freaking out. So I put it on, and I take my photo, and then I'm like, no! <laughs> just give me a second here. <laughs> and then the panic starts to set in, and I can't get it off. And everybody that was waiting to jump in to take their photograph could see the fear, like, what, yeah. what do I, or, 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 cut my finger off? <laughs> and then eventually did come off, but it was, I wore the ring. It was, it was, uh, Wonder Twin Powers activate, but. That's amazing. But unfortunately never, never met Randy. He passed away. I mean, I saw him live, so yeah. that's the next best thing, but I mean, he would be cleaning up now if he was still alive, going to shows and. The Spider Man yeah. connection and just I've uh you know I've met Roddy a couple times. Oh, I met Roddy. Jeez. So that was a that was another story because <laughs> he was like an hour and a half late, and we're like sh not necessarily shit talking him, but like just getting grumpy yeah. and just like what you know come on man come to your table and you're just standing there and I was like maybe second or third in line waiting and you're just what the fuck man. And then he comes and you're just like, oh my god, this is Roddy Piper. And he's joking around with us and he's like punching the camera. He's punching me and he's just, he's Roddy. And yeah. I had him sign my uh, Shout Factory They Live poster. And what I appreciated just... about Roddy was he, to me, it seemed, in both times I met him, he seemed genuinely interested in. Yes. yes. Oh my god. He, he wanted to know about you, he wanted to talk about. Yeah, you know what was the, what's the history here? Yeah, you know, you, yeah. you know what's, and and uh, he seemed to enjoy the fans. He seemed to yeah. enjoy that interaction and giving back. Well, he the got best it. He could, yeah, you know? he got. Yeah, he's here because of us. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. that was great. Um, so that was a real. I've never met Hogan. I've been in the same room as Ric Flair, but he charges too much. <laughs> um, I think Hogan is probably. Uh, I think Hogan is doable. I think Hogan. I've just never been chance, to a convention yeah, where yeah. he's been at. But it seems like it's. it's I don't think I would pass up the chance. Pretty anymore. easy to get Hogan. Yeah. Um, I made Kevin Nash. I mean, this is more modern. But Kevin Nash, I made him laugh. Yeah. Super Shredder to you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might not <laughs> get that reference. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I met Chris Jericho. He's another modern. He was awesome because I brought my daughter. So that was kind of my, my ticket. For <laughs> instead of being just that guy that's like, hey, let me just sign a thing, I brought her along. Hey, my daughter likes you. Yeah, my she, daughter likes Fozzie. <laughs> well, we had to buy a Fozzie CD oh, okay. to get in and get it signed, and I had never listened to Fozzie before, yeah. and it's oh, easily yeah. one of my favorite CDs. Oh, well, it's there you that, go. It's awesome. So, you never know. Yeah, exactly. You know, let me see what I bought here. You know, <laughs> and it was it's excellent, but yeah. Yeah. It's encompassed my life for the last 40 years. Um, it, it's dropped off a bit recently because the product's just not very good. But I still I still have to keep up with it. You know, I still maybe watch a YouTube highlight video or read the hot sheets as they were. But Do you, I mean, is that, is it just the WW, well, I call them WWF. I'm always going to say <laughs> WWF. Out. I can't do E. I can't do it. <laughs> It's WWF to me. Um, I mean, there's like, what is there? There's a, Ring of a, Honor, there's uh, AEW, there's Impact. Yeah, is that stuff that you 
Ah, uh, watch. Just uh, WWE, and it's kind of because it's Raw, SmackDown, and then there's NXT. So there's three brands within, and then there's AEW, which is an upstart company started by a bunch of wrestlers. Yeah. Um, because you know these other companies kind of shit on the wrestlers, and they're the talent. So the talent decided to start their own federation, and I'm into that, and I enjoy watching that. But honestly, I just kind of fast forward through the matches. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say I'm a poser, but it, like even watching old stuff, it's like, why, why, why would I want to watch something I already know the outcome of? Yeah. Even though I love it so, and I love embracing its history, like I, I only got the network briefly because I didn't really want to watch old stuff. <laughs> well, now what's funny is when I go to watch the wrestling. Uh, I mean the the w the eighties stuff. Yeah. I specifically watch the wrestling now. Oh, really? <laughs> just to be entertained. Yeah. Because uh, I'll watch for how choreographed it is. Oh. And, you know. and there's some amazing stuff out there today. And if I hear that something's really good, I'll, I'll watch it. But I just kind of fast forward to the finish. I just love the finishes. See how they won the match. We all do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There oh. we go. Yeah, we like that finish. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, man. It's a, and it's very, it's a very love hate relationship where it's just like crapping on the whole product because it's not up to your standards or liking. And but yet I still watch it. You know, oh, I don't like this. This is dumb. This is stupid. Tune in every week. You know? Is there anybody that you know you feel compares to at this point the magic of back then? I don't think so. That's, yeah. I think that's my other big issue is I haven't embraced. I don't embrace anybody at the moment. Um, Maybe a few years ago, five, six, seven years ago, there was a guy by the name of Daniel Bryan that just electrified the whole industry because he was this homegrown hero where the company didn't really see him as somebody that they want to push, and but the fans wanted him to be pushed, mm. so they would disrupt TV tapings and 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 just chant his name when you know even though he wasn't getting the push they felt he deserved, and it eventually they cal. Toad in and Caltea, whatever word. Yeah, um, they gave in and and gave him the push, and it was it was amazing. And then yeah. quickly, but, oh. <laughs> well, he got hurt, and then oh. it was just it was a thing. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, CM Punk, that's another one that really kind of captured people's imaginations, and he just walked away from the business and tried to make it as an MMA uh, fighter. He's coming back occasionally, not to wrestle, but just kind of talk about the product. But uh, it's the dream for most fans of his that he'll eventually return. But yeah, it's it's definitely a different product from from the eighties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I I don't think I could ever get caught up in the stuff of today. Um, if I could, I would prefer if I was gonna you know, watch wrestling on a regular basis, I would prefer to just watch old 80s right. wrestling. I, I wish there was like a a compilation or, or something well, like the, that. Of the just, network does have that ability. Just 80s? I mean, you can just watch yeah, those. Yeah, there's classics, yeah. Okay. Now, all ep full episodes or just clips yeah. and stuff? Full episodes, oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, that's what I've led to believe I might talking out my ass but i'm pretty sure like they'll they have the like, old pay-per-views and huh that would, okay should maybe do like the the 90 day trial that would be interesting yeah because yeah, you know sometimes when the gang comes over certain members i mean you know like yeah. andrew clint sean they all yeah they're all wrestling nuts yeah, Chad. um and every now and again we'll pop in some some old wrestling i almost feel like maybe you should work that into a Said anyone to see yeah, that? It just, I, I, maybe it depends on who's here. True. You know? <laughs> maybe just a quick, maybe more of the the skit portions. Maybe I did the this match. last one. Oh. Were you here for that? I didn't see that. Okay. I did the classic, uh, the hand thing between oh, Macho Man, Macho Man and, okay. and Hulk. <laughs> um, that constant on again, off again. <laughs> Love hate relationship <laughs> yeah. between the two. See, yeah, I was rooting for Macho Man. Oh. I hate, I hated when uh, he lost to Hogan <laughs> at WrestleMania Five. Uh, Where were you when the Mega Powers exploded? <laughs> um, but yeah, you should look those up. 
even if uh, for a month or two just watch old stuff that yeah it'd be fun yeah i would totally sit with a bowl of cereal and and, <laughs> and just laugh you know like i said i i've revisited some things i remember so there was one thing and i kept like thinking about it and it wasn't until i talked to maybe either andrew or sean and it was this i remember it from back then okay it was a skit with Roddy Piper as Scrooge, <laughs> and he's I vaguely remember and the that. ghosts yeah, yeah, are yeah, visiting yeah, yeah, yeah. him, and he's got the nightcap, and he's got the, the candle, everything, and, yeah. and he's in bed, and he's like, whoa, he's like, just flipping out, and I like I, for we'll some we'll reason for that. I thought, like, who were the ghosts? Was this real? <laughs> you know, like, is this See, that sounds familiar? Something I was imagining, and he's like. And some, I can't remember if it was Andrew or Sean, he's like, no, no, no. He's like, i seen that. And then he like typed it in, and there was like a clip of it. I was like, oh my God, this is it. I this is it. I don't know if that's on the network, but that would be cool. Yeah, it was, it was such a rush of nostalgia and like, man, like wrestling was everywhere. Wrestling was everywhere. And, and, and it, it, I can see why it was a part of my life, even though it was a small part of my life. Right. You know? Like, how prominent it was. And well, yeah. I just... It was on... You know, so, again, that's why I think... Network, yeah. Uh, you know, those two just go... Everything... That was just a huge part of that the 80s pop culture was, was wrestling and... The, the the music and the, <laughs> the albums that were released. Well, they would and, sing their own theme songs oh, or... Oh, my God. Did you ever own any of the records? No, or? I didn't. I didn't do that. My <laughs> friends had them. My friends had them, but I, I, I couldn't get that. Far ever been either. to a house show? No, you know. In fact, um, I was telling Sean or or uh, Andrew, like, you, hey man, if there's something happening, you know, you would go. To I it? would totally okay. go just to. Well, there's one in uh, that AEW is coming to Rochester in a couple weeks. Here. Just to experience the live event, you know, I would totally do it. Well, if they. Because when you were in Wellsville, like, where would be the closest? Buffalo. Okay. Yep. Buffalo. We had to drive to Buffalo or Rochester for any, like, sort of big event. Gotcha. When we lived in, when I lived in Wellsville. Um, Did you get pay-per-views or? No, I mean, strictly, we, strictly. I just, it was all TV. just TV. Okay. TV, you know? And then, like I said, like, if a, if a WrestleMania came out on VHS, you would I would like to, okay. you know? And fast forward the wrestling. <laughs> Just get to all the good bits. How about that locker room interview? <laughs> it was just a part of uh, showmanship that I really enjoyed. I, you know, it was vaudevillian almost to me. Oh yeah, it was such a carnival barking atmosphere. These That's guys just playing it up. And day, yeah. I, I just. You know, it makes sense that that's the stuff that I would gravitate towards, <laughs> as opposed to the. Uh, well, I feel know, like that athleticism, that, that brand of comedy, probably influenced <laughs> a little bit of the. Oh, I'm sure. Sh- <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure the over the topness yeah. of that stuff. My God. <laughs> you know. Uh, so it's something that I've never like. Yeah, like I said, I've never poo pooed it. I've always smiled thinking about that stuff and looking back at it, you know. Um, the, uh, the you know, for the old show that uh, we would occasionally be a part of and I was a yeah, part of. Yeah, uh, Walking into that place and seeing all, seeing that, all, all that wrestling stuff, it was <laughs> insane to me, it, you know. I had this. I never, yeah, people got their things and oh, yeah. people I would never out for I'd wrestling. I never... Yeah. As you say, poo-poo somebody's... Yeah. Even if it wasn't something I was into. Like, we all have our weird shit. Did River ever get nah. into... It? No? Nah. You nothing know, he's, at all. He's even, like... <clears throat> I mean, when, when I'll be sitting there watching stuff, he's just like, what is oh, that? why are you watching wrestling? <laughs> I go, like, come on. I was, I'm like, it's entertaining. Look at it. This you know? is what I loved as a kid. And he's just like, it's so stupid. I'm like, yeah, they, yeah. it's part of the thing. It's... <laughs> You know what about Glow? I love Glow. Okay. Oh, absolutely. That was another. That's one even those... a. That's even a step down in the like, <laughs> like not you know, well quality, but like the comedy and like. Oh it was yeah. More focused. Oh on my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely another one of those piggyback shows. But to be honest, 
I tuned in more to Glow than I did <laughs> I WWF. Um, I just, I was mesmerized <laughs> by Glow. Uh, I thought it was so great. Yeah, I was fortunate to have both of my kids. Uh, during, during Glow? <laughs> yes, watching Glow. Uh, get into it with me. Uh, so we bought the toys. And, and funny enough, my daughter got way more into it than my son. So when I took her to her first house show, like the look on her face to see these people live and up in, in person was, was a memory I'll never forget. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, uh, River, that's just something you, you know. Never got to. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. I can see a, you know, a modern kid today just kind of, pff. Yeah. It's stupid. Oh, yeah, there's just too much. Dumb. There's just too much. Other so things. fake. You know? <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing. Like, you thought you were cool because you knew it was fake. Like, <laughs> I don't know how you couldn't know. Like, you know, and those little peels behind the peaks be, uh, behind the curtain. You were like, oh, did you see that? You, you, you know, you missed the pun, but he still moved. Yeah. Well, that's what's so great about going back and watching it, is because you can see, clearly see that a lot of this stuff ain't landing. You yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> and to see the. The actions of the of the athletes and what they're doing to right. sell those shots, you know, <laughs> so funny. I I just love it. It's but great even, entertainment. But even knowing the the kayfabe, that's the term. Um, there was still a part of you that wanted to believe it was real. And <laughs> when you hear about two uh, bitter enemies getting pulled over and arrested by the like, why were they driving together? <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, that's right. It's all part of the story, man. Yeah. Gotta follow they're all, that they're story. all friends. They're all buddies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. man. Rock and wrestling, you know what I'm saying? Cartoons. <laughs> yeah, it was all there. <laughs> it was all there. I'm, um... Yeah, currently I only have two things in the collection room that are wrestling related. Oh. Yep, and they're, one is... Uh, the 1990, it's either 1990 or 1991, Ultimate Warrior Hasbro figure. Oh, right. And then the newest. And then the newest yeah. He-Man <laughs> Ultimate Warrior uh, Mattel figure. Um, Ultimate Warrior, to me, was the... So uh, number one? No, Roddy. Oh, Roddy has always been number one. Right. But yeah. Ultimate Warrior was, to me, the most outrageous and over-the-top wrestler as far as i was concerned because that dude he was he, he was went, oh yeah he was, i was gonna say he was at a hundred as soon as he came out you know he was how you run into the ring for yeah, you're gonna was, be out of breath when you get <laughs> he was already veined and popping he was just completely just ripped to nothing left screaming and then once he hit that ring he did his little shimmy that he would do, and, and then he'd the grab, ropes. yeah, yeah. He'd yeah. grab those ropes and, <laughs> and his fucking blood was <laughs> squirting out of every. I need to just go to sleep for, I mean, twenty minutes. Or... That guy. Well, oh, he... then his then his match would be literally like two minutes. <laughs> he just but he sold it, man. Forth, yeah, he sold it. I did like the warrior. I was uh, rooting for warrior when he faced Hogan at WrestleMania six. And then I like to see, like, later on, I like to see these guys out of their personas. You know? Okay. Because for like, me, it was just so, like, hey, yeah. oh, he's, you know, what a performer. <laughs> you know? It, hit, it really hit at home that these guys are acting. These yeah. guys are putting on theatrics. It's a show, yeah. It's, you um, know? Um, and then just, theater just, in the round. To see these will. guys just chilling, you know, as normal right. folk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I was like, man. Or when they would show up great. in your favorite movies so yeah, um, yeah. suburban when you, commando <laughs> when you saw they live you were probably oh i pff, yeah come on i mean that's one of the big reasons not just because of john carpenter you know not right. just because it's an alien john carpenter movie but <laughs> roddy piper was the star of this fucking movie <laughs> hell yeah you saw that preview you're like, wait what is my it? god what's going on here <laughs> you know and then hell comes the frog town. I mean. <laughs> of course. Uh, which I recently tried to rewatch, and I just couldn't. I couldn't get to past see it. that. Yeah, I've I've tried to. I've started and stopped that one. Yeah, a lot. It's, it's rough. 
Suburban, but suburban Commando. That's your <laughs> talking about. Santa with muscles. <laughs> Which was at the. Uh, did you watch that at? Uh, oh yeah, we watched it at this year's Christmas <laughs> shindig. That can't be Bacchanalia. Good. It can't be good. Oh, it was awful. Oh okay. Of course, as it you know should be. Yes. But yeah, man. Wow. 80s wrestling. <laughs> Do you have anything else to mention about your 80s obsession? And I'm trying to think. I mean, just the WrestleManias were were an event. It was the our, you know, obviously I watched the Super Bowl too, but that was that was the Super Bowl of wrestling, and it, you you'd make that a big event. Uh, to this day, I still try and have friends over uh, or go to friends' houses to, even if I don't watch anything the entire year. Mm -hmm. It's either it's Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, the two that must watches hmm. yeah and it's coming up it's uh, like three or four weeks Wrestlemania yeah hmm. they dropped the numbers now because it's just it's too high <laughs> road road to Ro the road to Wrestlemania yeah, we're in the middle of it right now didn't uh, <coughs> Rowdy Ronda Rousey or whatever <laughs> wasn't she in Wrestlemania yeah last, last year? year yeah she was in the main event sure. what the, the hell happened to her did she just uh, stop that yeah I think she was gonna maybe try and have a family but she might be back. That was know. fast. Seems like, like she was, was there. Like she did yeah. some shit, and yeah. then <laughs> see ya. Well, that's the beauty of it. Now you can just come in and go. Huh. <laughs> we won't forget you. What did you think of that? You know, that whole her taking on that persona and. Uh, at this point, I'm not as into it, so it didn't bother me as yeah. much. Yeah, it didn't. I thought it was fine. I it liked was... it when she turned heel. <laughs> uh, that worked for me. Um, but a lot of us wrestling fans, we, we criticize the people that kind of just come in and take over uh, or somebody that comes back, um, like, you know, like The Rock, for example. You know, he, he comes back from uh, doing his movies and then wins the title out of nowhere. You know, it's just, well, well, there's guys yeah. that, have, and I get that, that these people draw money. Yeah. Uh, that's why they're here. Like uh, Goldberg just won the title. Out of nowhere, <laughs> and he's he's like fifty six. Old bird, but he uh, he brings in people to watch. Like, uh, but uh, the real strong wrestling fans are like, well, you got this guy that wrestles three hundred days a, a year and doesn't get anything, and then you got this guy that wrestles two days a year, <laughs> or Brock Lesnar for that matter. Um, it's just uh, again, it's we 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 hate on it, but then we continue to watch it and love it. And, <laughs> It's, it's well, isn't that like most fandoms? Yes. <laughs> People Star love to Wars. hate, yeah. <laughs> and yet they just keep watching. Well, just don't watch it if you don't like it. I know. I can't. I can't stop. But yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't get that. I just won't. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped at uh, 1989. <laughs> yeah, it was over for me. I'm done. Was there a thing that? Why? Like, why did you stop? Was there a moment where you're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, um, I'm good with what I, uh, I got out of this. I don't know, man. I think it. I think it was uh, a changing of, like, did somebody stop wrestling? You were like, well, I don't. I only watch it because I know. Um, <clears throat> no, I. A warrior again, would come and go. I want to say that. Piper was always around. So. I think I just, the you know I was hitting those teen years and I was just like, okay, the cartoons that I watched are done. And now I'm going to go out and, like, shoot a movie or, you know. At 12 o'clock, I wasn't watching wrestling anymore. Right. You know what I mean? I, I was you. outside finding dead bodies and, and you know, <laughs> going on adventures and, and making carousels into floating spaceships and, you know, things like that. It was a, it was a wild time. And um, I think that's probably why. 12 o'clock, I wasn't even in the house, yeah. you know. Um, Missed those days. Yeah, just going out and yeah. gallivanting with the homies. <laughs> <laughs> Making up your own shows or, or doing sports or having your own leagues. and It's just, just not a thing. Mm. Oh, yeah, because we're adults. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this show is about recapturing that. That's right. You stay a kid, adult. <laughs> Keep that kid alive in you. Oh. oh man, this was... This was a stretched flesh memory down. <laughs> Stretch flesh. That would be a tag team. <laughs> Stretched flesh. I especially loved all the wrestling toys that were unveiled at New York Toy Show, Toy Fair. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
And we can talk about that <laughs> right after this episode. Oh. oh, this isn't the same one? No, I think we'll just we'll oh, chop okay. it up okay. so it can be its own little thing. <laughs> oh, okay. You know? But, uh, yeah. That was good, man. Wrestling. She should cut a promo to send it, send it out. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I could. <laughs> you know, I could be the next wrestler. I mean, look at me. What would your wrestling I'm name so be? So jacked. Well, I had my wrestling name. Remember, I was the, uh, I was the, I was the Trashfield Cat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Trashfield Cat. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> Come at you. I was Paul's the I Kimbo. Was, I was the phenomenon. The phenomenon. Yeah. It was cool in my bedroom. Um, I had, uh, I didn't have a door to my closet. It was just like a curtain. So I would go in and then I'd come out. You'd come out? Yeah. (laughs) I would, I would wrestle pillows. Oh yeah, man. Pillow people. So many broken beds. Uh, it's rough. (laughs) But yeah. Were, were you ever like a backyard wrestler? Yes. Oh, you were? Not, not, not the extreme that came about in the 90s where (laughs) you're breaking, uh, lamps and stuff but uh yeah we would i mean we would use the fence as the rope and uh, we would jump off things and we didn't do anything crazy moves because it was the ground and dirt yeah. but uh, it was a lot of clotheslines and <laughs> fake punches to your and, mom yes yeah. yeah when she got into it get she, out here she would blade <laughs> she put the, the razor blade and cut herself like ma stop but yeah we did the backyard wrestling we would we would keep notes we would uh Write down the cards and circle who won, and yeah, I still have some of those somewhere. Did everyone call everyone brother? No, <laughs> but we did come up with gimmicks. That was That's the beauty good. of it. We we would come up with our. You had to come up with a finishing move, and then we would bring the boombox out for the entrance music. And uh, was anyone running wild? No, nobody was running. No, wild. there was no running wild on anything. No. But I would borrow because my dad uh, played Eddie in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. So he had the, the leather coat. So I would grab the leather coat and I would put that on. And, and, uh, the phenomena. Yeah, it was, it was a thing. Again, the Dope. theatrics before you know backyard wrestling became a thing. It was, uh, that's we're, awesome. We're kind of proud of that when I do talk with uh, old uh, street mates, if you will. But, yeah. Let us know your wrestling memories yes, yes. down in the comments. Did you, Were you a fan of 80s wrestling? Did you grow up in the 80s and, and, and embrace the madness that was WWF? Did you have your own gimmick? Yeah, what was you, it? Were you yeah. a wrestler? <laughs> Tell us about it. Because we're going to be promoting you. We're going to bring you back. We're going to get out there on the streets. We're going to have matches. That's right. It's going to be amazing. You know, you got to call the two Chris's. We will set you up. I mean, you're going to make tens of, of hundreds of pennies. It's going to be How much would that be? amazing. Uh, you, win, you win Capri Sun. <laughs> yeah, to you, save you, you won't be disappointed. To stay you're going to have a long career. Sickness. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. You're out. Should we get some more? Corona. Oh, no. Don't you, get want me. A, you want a Corona? Don't get me Corona. Coronavirus. Corona beer? All right. Put a lime in it. Well, that was it, folks. That was our episode. <laughs> and what you gonna do? <laughs> what a um, crap from the 80s goes wild on you. That's right. That was great. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hit subscribe, like, comment. Don't worry. Oh, hey, we're almost at 700. Let's get to that 700. Yeah. Once we get to that 700, we get that live show. We'll bring everybody on board, including all the 80s wrestlers that you love. They're going to come back They're all going to gonna be here. They're going to be here. Most of them are dead. I know. And <laughs> you're going to have a great show, and we're going to give away that uh, merman, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, the so merman. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Um, I'm going to go get some more Capri Sun. And... Uh, okay. You know, join us next time. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye for 80s wrestling. Bye.